Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, for a show not for the faint-hearted. I'm Nick McCormack reporting. Trapped in an airing cupboard. <laughs> but that's enough. This isn't... Spasms aren't what you came here to see. It is very small and cramped and it's full of clothes. But between these walls lies a human being. Me. Anyway, enough of that. Um, it's really hot, and it sort of like smells of clean clothes. But, you know, I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt, and it's really hot, so I'm going to take it off. But don't worry about that, because I've got a short sleeve on underneath it. See? Hello. But it's not all good. I have a tiny light source, quite dark, and besides my own body temperature, this thing heating me up. It's awful. No food or drink at all. All there is, is clothes and a sponge. Say hello, sponge. I'm Mr. Sponge. I want to be your friend. Mmm, I smell nice. Uh, that's enough out of you. Uh, uh, you're ruining the ratings. Uh, uh. Uh, is it still on? Uh-oh. Uh, ignore that. That's, that, that. No, I'm going to fire him. As night draws near, I am very afraid. The next day. There was nothing in here. I found a pencil. Maybe I'll write something with it. Dear Grandma, I have no idea how long I've been in the cupboard of air, an airing cupboard. I know that as the days draw on, I grow more criminally insane. Pray for me, Grandma. Because now there are no cupcakes for Nick. No food or water. No nice comfy bed to sleep on. Just this living nightmare. It is dark and cold. Well, actually it's boiling hot and I've got a small light source which is also warming me up. You know that war is not hell because you have been to fat camp. But that does not mean that I know what it is like to enter a living nightmare. Once again, pray for me, Grandma. This tiny light source is all I have for the Toby Company, is my company, because it is. A Buzz Lightyear lamp, which I have not used since I was about four years old. And he sucks. Now, on to more important things. If there are any four-year-olds watching this, and you're offended, well, grow up. He sucks. I mean, they've been like three movies, and he just gets even suckier. I mean, you know that switch that makes him, like, good to evil? I think it's, like, straight to gay. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, you did it! Still, night draws close, and I'll see you all for day three. Mmm, <coughs> pickles.
the very next day. <laughs> oh, you're back. Anyway, listen. Each day it gets darker and colder. Well, no, not necessarily that, but each day I grow more hungry. I can only fear about all the crazy things outside. Look at me. I am losing my mind. I can, if only I wasn't locked in this cupboard. Why? Why is life so hard? Miserable son of a... I don't want to stay in here another day. Why? 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 <laughs> Why is everything in life so difficult? I'm gonna be trapped in here for years and there's nothing I can do to escape. It's crazy. Look. Ah. <sighs> What do you know? The door was open. It was never locked. Well, uh, this has been Nick McCormack showing you how to survive in an airing cupboard. Uh, I now look like an idiot. Thank you for watching. Oh no, no, Quadro, hit it! Donkey. Put some donkey, y'all. She's in the superstitions. Black cats and voodoo dolls. I feel a premonition That girl's gonna make me fall Here we go! She's into new sensations New kicks in the candlelight She's got a new addiction For every day and night